styles group together a whole series of attributes of an object. For instance, you could have the stroke fill of an object, as well as the line styles of an object, and the layer effects of an object, all stored together under a single style. Now, styles are available from the Styles panel, and I'll just show you that just now. So, with this piece of text, I just want to uh, jump to the Styles, and you'll see under there, there's just a, a limited set of thumbnails that you can apply to uh, this particular text. So, for instance, I can uh, select Rainbow to give a rainbow look, a metal look, and I can jump through each of one of these in turn. Just jump back to sunset there. Now, I want to introduce some styles that I have stored separately in a styles file. So I'll just import those into my document, uh, into a new category. I'll do open. And we now have a new category called textiles. So from here, I can apply lots of different styles to my text. And these are all pre-supplied and they have lots of combinations of strokes, styles, 3D um, and layer effects too. So I'm particularly looking for a gold effect and I think that gold rust look looks quite good. So with a single click you apply a supplied preset to the text. Now if I want to change that particular style, modify it slightly, change the attributes in some way, or change the effects uh, for that style, I can do that and I can also save that as a new custom style for future use. So we'll do that just now. So with the text selected, um, we can go to effects and we'll just uh, look at outline here, this option here. We'll just open it up a little bit and we'll change the radius value here. We'll just boost that slightly to give it a stronger outline. Now once I've done that and I close that, I've got a, uh, some properties on there that I want to save and I can do this by going to Styles panel again and then jumping to a new category and we'll have to create that first. So to add new category, we'll say Rename it um, My Styles. And then from this little button, the Panel Preferences button, uh, just here, we can just click this and do Add Style from Selection. And that's my new style saved, slightly modified from the original supplied preset. I can right click it and rename it. And as a final touch, we can just rename the text to what we want to the design to be. And there we have it.